Special treat today in studio. He's from Elkhart Lake, but been all over the world because of his racing prowess. He is Nick Hammond. Nick, congratulations, and being the 2014 GT Academy champion, what does that all entail? Well, Lance, I want to really appreciate it. Thanks for having me on the show today. No problem. And the GT Academy program, it kind of is a virtual reality, and then winning it is really kind of a prestigious honor, and you end up, my race, the first one will be the 24 Hours of Dubai on January 9th and 10th, so it's coming up. That's awesome. And obviously this is pretty prestigious because like you mentioned, a lot of people have applied for this and I think this year was like, what, 450,000 and yeah. you beat them out? Yeah, it was just the program the last couple of years has really taken off and it just gives the opportunity for people like me that love racing and really passionate about it to kind of get inside of it and really have a chance of becoming a professional race car driver for now, Nissan. Now, you probably have heard from your parents, you know, get off the video games, you go, go out, do something, whatever, but it actually helped you develop this skill. Maybe explain how gaming really helped you in the racing world. Yep, because I know like growing up through Road America, I did a lot of my dad, kind of gave up a lot of racing stuff just so that I could get involved more with go-karting. Mm -hmm. And when I was racing, you kind of only, it's expensive to get seat time, and this is a way outside of it that you can kind of it costs very little, mm. so you can get down in your basement, you know what I mean, put laps on, and you just learn different lines, different car controlling techniques that really can help you in the real life of driving and racing other people. So now, Nick, do you say and tell parents, yes, there can be productive ways to play video games? Yeah, I'll probably be the <laughs> one person, and in, in my parents were actually during that week long where it was all about your time trial. Mm -hmm. My parents were telling me, get downstairs and keep playing your video games. <laughs> So I'll be the one time in my life that I'll actually hear or keep playing video games. <laughs> I like that. That's awesome. Elkhart Lake, it kind of runs in the blood. I think a lot of times people almost take for granted, but a lot of us that love racing don't. Mm -hmm. Road America is one of the best tracks in the world. Is that what kind of whetted your yep. appetite, so to speak? Exactly. I grew up really close to Road America, and I just always enjoyed being out there. I remember growing up real small, even being in a car seat, going out on track with my dad. And when you travel to Silverstone over in England and New York City, and you just mentioned Road America, mm -hmm. you just get awes and oohs about how famous and really cool the racetrack is. That's awesome. When you won this thing, what was your general thought? Were you kind of like, was it a pinch me moment? What was it like? Definitely. I remember when I crossed the finish line, you don't really know if you're the winner yet, but once Tahani Jones kind of announced me as the winner, it was just definitely, it took a while, mm. and almost that plane ride home from the UK, then it starts to set in, you're like, I actually did win this competition. And you just are amazed because you see like the previous years, you see those guys win and you just you see them as an idol. And mm -hmm. then to be that kind of the guy this year that won is just re truly remarkable. Silverstone in England, Dubai, it's pretty cool that a kid from Elkhart Lake yep. gets to go all over the world. Exactly. And I just can't thank Nissan, you know what I mean, and PlayStation enough for this great opportunity. Final thing is, how far do you want to take this? I mean, is this something where you feel like you can kind of move up the ladder and be into different forms of racing, or where, where are you thinking about this? Well, I think definitely the race coming up in Dubai is very important, but mm -hmm. after that, hopefully, I'll be able to race kind of overseas in Europe for a, a couple of seasons and get my feet kind of wet in that kind of racing, and then probably, hopefully, transfer into like the prototype racing, and the goal would be to race and hopefully win with Nissan at the 24-hour Le Mans. And you're thinking at this point, sports cars and things like that, and just wherever the path takes you, exactly. or what are you thinking? Well, yeah, I'll probably start with some sports car stuff, but if, if the opportunity for Nissan or anybody else comes up where you can get into more of the, the open wheel or even like NASCAR or something like that, I'll, I'll definitely give that a try as well. Well, Nick, thanks for coming in, and I learned something today. Kids, sometimes playing video games, it pays off. Nick, thank you very much. Thank you very much. All nice. right, Nick Hammond joining us right here.